ओके सो द क्वेश्चन विच इज आज टूडे इज वेदर एंटीकोगलेंट्स और रूटीन यूज ऑफ एंटीकोगलेंट्स इज रिकमेंडेड इन इस्टेमिक स्ट्रोक्स लाइक हेपेरिन और अनफ्रेक्शनेटेड हेपेरिन लाइक दैट और फॉन्डोपेरिनक्स लाइक दैट वेदर दे शुड बी रूटीन रूटीनली यूज इन एस्टेमिक स्ट्रोक पेशेंट सो द आंसर इज नो द रूटीन यूज ऑफ एंटीकोगलेंट्स इन इस्टेमिक स्ट्रोक इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड देर आर ओनली फ्यू कंडीशंस depending upon the mechanism of ischemic stroke where they should be used so the one of them is uh, if there is a cardiac embolic stroke if the patient is having atrial fibrillation sort of thing and because of the thrombus has propagated from the heart to the uh, vessel or the patient is having a prosthetic valve disease where the anticoagulation is necessary it's also a sort of cardiac embolic phenomena in these conditions anticoagulation should be used but routine use in every ischemic strokes anticoagulants like heparin is not recommended in fact they have seen that if the stroke is large uh, for a rough guideline if it is occupying more than 1/3 of the hemisphere a cerebral hemisphere then it can uh, the, its anticoagulant use can lead to hemorrhagic transformations so the role of uh, anticoagulants for the prevention of propagation of stroke is routinely not recommended except for the condition i mentioned but having said that anticoagulants are used for the dvt prophylaxis in this patient if at all used and they use mechanical compression devices also so that's the logic behind it i hope this clarifies and please do read more about it it's very very important because it is one of the most under misunderstood concept in ischemic stroke thank you for asking